Hello and welcome back to lesson six in the BandLab tutorials. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to put an effect on a track. If you haven't done so already, your track now should look a little bit like this. I explain a little bit more about this in lesson five and lesson four, so I will link the video on how to import your loops in the description below. Great, now we're gonna go put an effect on one of our tracks. The effect we're gonna put on is a reverb and we're going to put it on this vocal chop down here. First of all, what is reverb? So a lot of people get reverb confused um, with an echo. They are very similar, but they're also quite different as well. So a reverb is created when sound waves reflect off of a surface in a room. So it causes a large number of reflections. It sounds a little bit like an echo, um, but it's very different, you'll see it in a minute. What I want you to do first is I want you to select your vocal track down here. And we're gonna click on this button down the bottom left hand side called effects. Perfect, once you click that, you will see this tab opens up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on here and click add effect. And it brings up a whole range of effects here. But what I'm going to show you today is how to add some reverb. So I'm gonna to go to reverb and I'm gonna choose this studio reverb down here. Scroll down so you can see what I'm doing. You have these three dials come up when you click on the effect. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to play the track for you just so you can hear what the reverb does. There you go. And I'm going to turn the reverb off just so you can hear the difference. Let me just bring that back. Turning it on. There you go. So you can hear it's got a lot more depth. It sounds like it's in a room. So I'm just going to quickly describe what these dials here do for you. So we've got the mix button here. This is how much reverb you hear. If you turn it all the way up, let me just play it for you. You'll hear a lot of reflection. And then if you turn it all the way down, you'll only hear a little bit. There you go. We're not going to worry about color. The other one I want you to look at is size. This is basically the room size. So if you turn it up, imagine you're standing in a big cathedral. You're going to hear a lot more reflections. So just have a listen to the difference. I've turned it right up. And I'm just going to turn it down. You'll hear that there are less reflections. You can always take off your reverb by clicking this button. It just turns it off, but it doesn't get rid of it. If you want to get rid of it, just click this little X in the corner. So have a go, fill around with the reverb and let me know how you get on.